All right, what's going on dudes? And welcome back to the current latest 1.8 snapshot for Minecraft. That being 14W10, which in the video I made on this last week, I briefly mentioned the newly revised 3D block model format, but I didn't get a chance to demo it. So of course, I wanted to make up for that and show you some cool stuff. So I've got some ladders, rails, bookshelves laid out here, and it all looks fairly standard 2D Minecrafty planes, but take a good look at it because it's all about to change for the more awesome-er. So if I go into my resource pack menu here and choose this 3D stuff resource pack and go back into game with it enabled, all of a sudden, everything is all 3D and amazing. So we've got 3D rails, 3D ladders, even 3D bookshelf faces. The way this was done is I took three separate resource packs that were posted on Reddit, and one for the ladders, one for the rails, one for the bookshelves, and I consolidated them all into one resource pack, which I would link, except I don't know if the original authors want their stuff to be distributed in a, in a separate link. So I'll link the three in the description. If you want to consolidate them all together, you basically just choose one resource pack and then drag all the other files into their respective folders in that resource pack in particular. So it's pretty simple to do. And what you get is, of course, 3D models that look amazing. I know a lot of people were concerned about the new 3D model functionality uh, breaking the feel of Minecraft, but when it's used tastefully like this, I actually prefer this to what it was like previously with the 2D planes. I think it looks really nice. And of course, if you install a new resource pack, and, and in the future when people are making their resource packs for 1.8, if they make a different texture, as long as it's pixelated, they can actually create an, a new model for it that goes along with that new texture, which I think is, is super awesome. So again, of course, we have our ladders, and we have our 3D rails. It works for the default rail, the weighted pressure plate rail, the deactivator rail, the, the booster rail, and um, You've also got the bookshelves here, which top shelf is done one way, bottom shelf is done another. Um, the uh, the books here are sort of well, the the empty space is sort of extruded backwards to make it look like the books the the books have some depth, and the bottom shelf is just um, the whole thing is just uh, recessed a little bit. So a couple different options there, and it all looks pretty darn nifty, I would say. It all works. Can ride the rails as I would usually do. Get my head stuck inside of a block and then back and forth and yeah i i think this is super cool personally like i i will probably actually play the game uh with this sort of stuff uh enabled once 1 1.8 is released and everything i have mod wise is updated but you get the idea anyway we can do a, a quick switch back once more just so you can get a, a good idea of the difference there we go 2d and switch on back to 3D real quick. Boom, 3D stuff done. And all right, there we go. It just looks so much nicer, doesn't it? Like it's it's not game breaking at all. It's just, it's still pixelated, still blocky, still voxely. It just looks a bit more polished and, and really cool. So anyway, once again, the uh, the links to the three separate resource packs will be put in the uh, in the description and uh, you can combine them all together if you want to get this uh, this whole effect. And I'm sure eventually someone will put together a, a full resource pack that has like every possible vanilla uh, item that can be 3D modeled, 3D modeled. So it'll, uh, yeah, 1.8, once that's released, I'm sure that'll happen pretty soon after, if not even before that. So anyway, that about sums it up for this stuff. Hopefully you've enjoyed. If you have, a rating would be uh, much appreciated. Other than that, uh, thanks for watching, everyone, and I guess I will see you next time.